What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Clark Bishop, Clark's Vision. Go take me. And today I'm back here with another tutorial. And today we're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you how to make Instagram music video previews or any type of preview you want on Instagram. So you can take it your own way, have your own creative perspective on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, you got to have a music video or any type of video. So here's my music video idea for Frank's Villa, Villa V2. And it was a real nice video. It was one of my first music video projects that I think that came out very well. So first thing you gotta do is either get some screenshots, screen grabs of the video, or have some photos off to the side from the music video or the music stick or anything that you trying to make this preview for. So I already did that. I made my, or took, got my screenshots. I put them over here on my desktop. So now let's go to Photoshop. First things first in Photoshop is the dimensions. To get that full size frame, to take up most of the space on Instagram, you're gonna have to make your dimensions 10 by 80 and 13 by 50 and again this allows you to have that full frame on Instagram to take up the most space and has to have the best resolution first things first I make this layer a smart object and I bring the fill all the way down so I can have a transparent background so what I first I do for these Instagram music video previews I put my screen grabs on first and I just kind of set I kind of know that my video is going to be in the middle it's gonna be the middle size frame. So I kind of like get it ready. So I kind of get some pictures set. And cause it's, it's very, it's more of a creative process. You can have, you don't have to have a video directly in the middle. You can have the video wherever you want to have the video. So I'm gonna do that when I like that picture. And I also like this picture right here. So all you're doing is dragging and dropping and you're just placing the picture where you think they look best. So. I like those two there and that's nice and so that, that looks nice and then got this one I'm gonna put up here on this side I think that looks nice up here I'm actually gonna resize it so the resize is a shift and tap one get one of the corners and just make it a little smaller and then I also have one more I like and I actually gotta accept that first and drag it on here. And then I like that up in this corner. And again, to resize it, shift and grab drag one of these corners. And then you're all good. So I think that's gonna work well with the music video. So now what I'm gonna do is create a video timeline. Again, if you look, I have create video timeline at the bottom, you're gonna go to window and you're gonna hit timeline. And that made it go away. So go back down, go to window, go to the timeline. And yes, you can make videos in Photoshop. There it goes. I showed you. I was the first to show you that. So keep watching, subscribe. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to uh, add some text. I'm going to add the video last just because sometimes you have trouble. I don't know why. But I'm going to add, add some text. I'm gonna, uh, I like to go all caps. And I'm using Arial Black right now. So I'm going to go Franks. And then I'm going to add some more text down here. Dilla. V2 and I'm not gonna leave it like that, of course not. I'm just gonna resize it again, shift, grab one of these corners. Actually, I'm gonna center it first. Shift, grab one of these corners, resize and make it a little smaller. And then that's lined up with Frank. So this is a trick I learned. So this is highlighted on Dilla V2. You're gonna press command, then Frank, so you can resize both of them at the same time. Make that a little smaller, and I'm probably gonna put that in the center right there. And actually, I'm gonna take both of those off right now. Just for right now, we'll get back to that. And then I'm gonna make some more text. And then I'm gonna go direct it by, get that. And then I'm gonna add some more text. I'm gonna go Clark's Visions. Accept that. So now I'm gonna resize both of them again. Shift, hit the corner, and make it a little smaller. I hope it didn't do it. Shift, corner. Make it smaller. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that in the middle. Accept that it's good. Uh, shift corner. Still, I don't know why they didn't let me do it from there, but shift. Go down, make it a little smaller. I'm actually probably gonna make both of those a little smaller. I want the Clark's vision way smaller than the directed by. I'm not that important. Command. Oh, make, accept that first. Command. And make both of these smaller and then just get that out of the way 
for right now. So you see that it's a harsh line in between both. So, but before I do that, before I get this harsh line, I'm gonna add the video to the timeline. So let's do it. I'm gonna add this drag and drop the video like I drag and drop all the pictures. So that's probably gonna be a good bet right there. And then I like to just put the video under everything. So go here, just drag it and put it under everything. So now you can go ahead and lift this up. So that'd be good, like right there. All right, cool. And then now I see I got a little more space I can work with. I can make these a little bigger. Move that to like right there. And then, and I got the the um the bars on my video. So if you would if you didn't have the bars, it'd be way easier just to drag and drop and place the videos. I'm kind of lazy. There are templates that you can use. I know Creative Ryan has a template for the music videos, and it's very simple. But I like to just go have my own little creative touch, and I don't like to follow the rules. So. That's how it would be looking right now. I know some of you guys are like, hey, you got that harsh line right there, you got that harsh line. Easiest thing to get away, get rid of. Let's go here. And then this is on top, so I'm gonna make that a smart object. And then I gotta press lock, get the command locked off. And see, I don't like that one. So I'm gonna put, actually I'm gonna put this one layer on. My camera died on me, so I'm back. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this layer on top convert to a smart object and then you just erase oops my bad I went wrong one go back to this layer just erase it to get that harsh line off and make sure your your hardness is turned down so you can get this smooth get this smooth like faded into look and I went too far that time I deleted it so actually I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and just go here I don't like that right there. You can't really tell, you can't really see the line. And you do the exact same thing for the one up top. So we're gonna go here, create a smart object, bam. And you get that harsh line out of there. I went too far. So. And, uh, I keep doing that. I like that right there. I like that right there. And now, what we're gonna do is go back to the text that we took away earlier. Yeah, now you really can't can't really see the lines. It's, it's, it's looking good, it's almost finished. And now we're gonna go back to the directed by and Clark's Visions command. You're gonna move that a lot. I like to move this down a little bit like that. Then I'm gonna go back to, and I'm sick, but it's good. I'm gonna go back to the Dilla and the Franks. I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna move that over right there. I kinda like that. I like that, I like that a lot. So now, you see it. We got our own little music video preview going on right there. And this so, Subjective, you can do anything your own way. I could've got in and used totally different fonts, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a part of the video. Like, So you would go actually go and just move, make the timeline a little bigger or smaller and go to the part of the video you wanna cut. So I know I wanna go more. This is all like the beginning of the song preview. If you wanna go check out this music video, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. Or I'm gonna leave it in the car right here. So go ahead and check that out for me. So I know I probably wanted to go right after, like right here. So what you do is just get the scissors cut. Now it's back like you in Final Cut or something. And you, it doesn't go back and drag, so you gotta drag it back. Drag it all the way back. And then, then we're gonna go back. Oh, I press play. 
timeline, you can just go back here. You can just go back like that. So then, I make the timeline a little bit smaller. And I wanna go maybe about, maybe about, let me turn it so I can hear it. They got me up on the door. So, said the boy psychotic. Like, I done lost my noodles. Like, right there. So, that's about 32 seconds. So, you're gonna go actually, same thing, cut it, click on that one, delete it. And the only thing I don't like about Photoshop is you can't just drag and select everything. So, I'll be right back. I just gotta drag all these over. And you see what I'm doing here. So, one moment. I'm gonna speed it up. And there we go. This is our music video preview. I just press play. It's, let me go back to the beginning. It's, it's us. So like, you can be as creative as you want with this. So that's why I like to do it in Photoshop. You can move things wherever you want to do. You can resize things. You can like just play it around. I could add the video on the side or do whatever I wanted to do. But in Photoshop, it allows you to just be that more creative. So imagine I wanted to switch fonts or I don't know, turn somebody hair red and in the pit it's, it's it's photoshop so in these music video previews or any preview in general photoshop is the way to go you can create a video timeline and now i'm going to show you how to export it because i'm talking too much so file and then you're going to export and then you're going to go to render video and like you should always do is um export your videos and 23.9, like that's to get the movie feel, especially if you're doing music videos, and you see it has the dimensions 1080 by 1350, high quality, I used to say high quality, and select to the photo, I'm gonna send it to my desktop, renders out, it's gonna take a little second to render out, that's cause it's getting a nice high quality video, you know how we do it over here at Clark's Visions. Not to brag in that, but. So as it exports, yeah, like Photoshop is, I'm not even going around. I'm just going to holler at y'all when the export. Camera is overheating, so A6300 users. You can't do tutorials too long. <laughs> so the video exported, and here we go. This is our music video preview or any preview you want to do. I'm going to turn it up for you. And this is it. Like You can do any type of music video preview or music or video, I mean, period. So like, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. There are going to be more and more tutorials coming every single week. I promise that. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know how the video goes for you guys. And if you have any questions up and coming. And I'm Clark Visions. I'm out. And subscribe to that channel. Peace.